For quite some time now, SpaceX, headed by none other than Elon Musk, has been working on a masterpiece rocket, the rocket that is said to take people to Mars. This is the Starship rocket, and so far, the company has managed to complete the rocket. However, even though the rocket is complete and both stages have already been stacked together, SpaceX still doesn't have the proper documentation to fly the massive rocket. For that, they would have to wait for approval from the FAA. But recently, it has been discovered that the FAA has cleared the Starship and Elon Musk may get to actually launch the rocket. But what does this mean for the space company? Hello everyone and welcome back to Liftoff. Today, we will look at Elon Musk's Starship as it was cleared by the FAA at the Texas facility. But before we go any further, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel for all things Elon Musk, space and technology. And with that, let's find out what the clearance means for the space company. Not so long ago, the Federal Aviation Administration FAA, finally finished its environmental assessment of SpaceX's plans to launch its Starship Mega Rocket from Boca Chica, Texas. The FAA has claimed that they have found no reason to stop the show by preventing the licensing of the long-awaited test flights. This was according to some of the officials. According to the FAA Executive Summary of the Programmatic Environmental Assessment PEA, the FAA determined that the proposed action would not result in significant environmental consequences and has issued a mitigated finding of no significant impact slash record of decision. The report went on to read, should any future license or permit be issued to SpaceX to perform any aspect of the proposed action, the FAA will ensure that SpaceX implements specified mitigation measures as conditions for licensure. However, even though the FAA has cleared SpaceX, the space company still has to carry out 75 measures that are meant to minimize the environmental impacts of the launch before it can be given a launch license. In addition to that, the FAA will also have to carry out public safety, national security, and other analyses. This was as reported by the agency in a statement. The license application is still pending. But even with all this, the FAA has already concluded that a more involved environmental impact statement will not really be necessary. If all goes well, we might just see SpaceX proceed with the long-delayed orbital test flight of its Starship Super Heavy rocket in the coming months, maybe even by the end of the year. SpaceX took to Twitter to share the excitement, tweeting, one step closer to the first orbital flight test of Starship. And indeed, they are now one step closer. With the successful conclusion of the programmatic assessment, we can say that it is a major victory for SpaceX founder and CEO Elon Musk. Musk sees the Starship vehicle as the company's future and a key step toward humanity exploring the solar system. With every win, there is always a loser. While SpaceX was celebrating the success of being cleared, environmentalists and members of the public who were against the launch of the Starship were not that happy. All these people argued that the Starship operations would end up damaging the South Texas coastal environment. In addition to that, they argued that it would cause harm to wildlife and nearby communities. But even with all these arguments, it is not yet clear whether there are any legal challenges to be mounted or not. The American Bird Conservancy released a statement where they said, SpaceX has shown a blatant disregard for Boca Chica's natural habitats. The area here is not just empty space or fuselage debris and waste. Now that SpaceX has been given clearance, what does this mean for the space company? Well, we can all agree that SpaceX has managed to shale up all the domestic and international launch industries. This has been mostly with the help of relatively low-cost, partially reusable rockets. The most famous rocket of them all from SpaceX is the Falcon 9 rocket. It is a two-stage medium-lift rocket that has a reusable first stage and a nose cone fairing that has flown about 157 times since it was first introduced in 2010. This year alone, it has launched 23 times. The rocket has mainly been used to launch civilian and government satellites, the most recent one being the Egyptian Nilesat 301. In addition to that, it has also been used to launch cargo Dragon capsules, which carry supplies and equipment, to and from the International Space Station. The Falcon 9 has also been used to launch the Crew Dragon spacecraft, which has been used to carry US and partner agency astronauts to and from the International Space Station. This led to the end of NASA's post-shuttle reliance on Russian Soyuz spacecraft. Since beginning the contract with NASA, SpaceX has launched approximately five NASA crews to the space station and two civilian crews, one to the station and one to low Earth orbit. But even with all these achievements, the Falcon 9 is not the only rocket that SpaceX has in its lineup. 
SpaceX also has some Falcon Heavy rockets, which, from the name itself, you can guess that they are the bigger version of the Falcon 9. In fact, the Falcon Heavy rocket had to be strapped together with three Falcon 9s as a 27-engine first stage when being launched. And SpaceX has managed to launch three of these Falcon Heavy rockets. However, there is no way that you can compare the Super Heavy and Starship rockets with the Falcon rockets. These ones are simply in a class of their own. SpaceX has been designing them for quite some time now, and they are planning on launching them from Boca Chica and the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. To understand how powerful it is, let's take a look at the rocket itself. The first stage, which is fully reusable, is powered by 33 Raptor engines that burn liquid oxygen and methane fuel. This gives the entire rocket a combined thrust of 16 million pounds. This is literally twice the liftoff power that NASA's Space Launch System Moon rocket has to offer. Over the weekend on the 11th, Musk tweeted a picture of the Super Heavy's engines with the caption, 33 Raptor rocket engines, each producing 230 metric tons of force. As for the upper stage, the Starship, it is also reusable. This part is fitted with six to nine Raptor engines, and it will be able to launch cargo, astronauts, or even both. Because of the achievements that SpaceX has had over the past few years, they managed to land a $2.9 billion contract with NASA to develop a version of the Starship that would serve as a piloted lander, carrying the first NASA astronauts back to the surface of the moon in the agency's Artemis moon program. When the Super Heavy and the Starship are brought together, it rises to a height of about 400 feet and measures 30 feet wide. This is a true gargantuan rocket that will make all the other space rockets look like dwarfs. SpaceX has been successful in launching multiple test flights of Starship prototypes from Boca Chica, using up to three Raptor engines at a time so that they could reach altitudes of up to about 9 miles. However, this was met with quite a number of failures, with most of the vehicles exploding while in flight, others during touchdown, and others just before landing. Because of this, SpaceX had a number of losses, but all this ended in May 2021, when they successfully completed a test launch without any damage. This was a huge milestone for the company. Now, the stacked Super Heavy and Starship rockets sit on the launch pad at Boca Chica. However, the Super Rocket has not yet been launched. For the Super Rocket's initial orbital test flight, SpaceX plans to land the Super Heavy in the Gulf of Mexico as the Starship goes further into space. Once it is out there, it will circle the planet before splashing down in the Pacific Ocean near Hawaii. Now that the environmental impact statement is not that necessary for Boca Chica, the FAA can now grant SpaceX a launch license as long as SpaceX meets the mitigation requirements. However, Musk is still worried about a possible negative outcome. Because of this, he has said that SpaceX is considering moving all the Starship Super Heavy launch operations to the Kennedy Space Center. Here, the company leases Pad 39A, a former Apollo and Space Shuttle launch complex. We can only hope that SpaceX is granted the launch license so we can see the long-awaited Starship in action. What do you think of the clearance by the FAA? Feel free to let us know in the comments section below. Also, be sure to subscribe to our channel for all things Elon Musk, space and technology. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.